my big concern is how do we make what um, our people and our, our, our enterprises more productive to create the prosperity that we need and the jobs we need because without that you can't take care of social responsibility you can't take up care of environmental sustainability and you can't provide for national security when i came to sri it had been in decline for almost 20 years and it was because the way it was working um, um, was outdated um, so with the same people or the same technology, the same customers and the same location, we got people to work more productively in teams today. And that's the secret to success. The goal is to learn fast. That's what innovation is about. It's about learning about the ecosystem. It's about learning about needs. It's about learning about new technologies that can be applied to create meaningful solutions for society. So tapping into the genius of your enterprise is one of the key things. And we put in place um, very simple processes where people would come together every two to eight weeks, stand up and present their value propositions, be critiqued by their colleagues in a very productive, positive way, and learn. Learn from the genius of their colleagues. One of the issues of this conference is many of the things we're doing are eliminating jobs, lots of jobs. And the whole automation, the robotics, the artificial intelligence, all those things uh, we're all very concerned about is that um, they add to productivity, but in a way, they're creating a social problem for like us. Like driverless cars, for driverless example? Driverless cars. That, you know, that driverless cars and vehicles and trucks might eliminate 10 million jobs in America. So the social side of that is very complicated. So what we're all trying to figure out is, okay, we can see some of these things coming. How do we now start to work together? How do we innovate in ways that can create new jobs, new job many of which we can't see today. But if we worked in different ways, if the government had different regulations and policies, if educators worked in different ways and trained children for the world we're in, can we create an ecosystem where we can create the prosperity we need and the jobs we need? Um, education itself has to change. Um, it's becoming more of a kind of a teach the kids the subjects and more experiential, more doing, because um, that's kind of the world we're in today. It takes government changes and regulations so that we become more competitive in the United States. And companies need to profoundly change the way they think about innovation. For business, you have to start with what your customers need. Uh, Peter Drucker, the great management guru of 50 years ago, um, said the purpose of a company is to create a customer. That's, that's what it's about. And if you don't start from that premise, then you have a really hard time today because more and more customers are empowered. They're empowered by the internet and all the choices they have. So do you think that the problems created by technology will ultimately be solved by more technology? Well, I, I don't know. I actually, that's a very profound question. Is if I, I sometimes wonder, the better we get at innovation, do we actually create some of these problems faster than humans can adapt to them? You know, it, it used to be in the industrial age, technology changed over the lifetime of a person. So, you know, 20, 30, 40 years before you had a real transformation in how we worked. Today, it's going faster than that. You know, in some cases, it's two years or five years. And that's very hard for humans to adapt to. So again, this conference is looking at ways to help people create the skills and find the opportunities so that they can, they can perform successfully in this new world.